Welcome back to another Python project. This time around we'll be trying to make a hangman game that runs in the Python shell. This is what it's going to look like. It allows me to guess a letter down here. And let's go ahead and start with the letter I. So what it's doing, it's checking to see if the letter I is in the word. And it looks like I got the letter I wrong. So if I get a wrong letter, it's going to print part of the hangman picture. And then it's going to ask me down here to guess another letter. This time around, let's go ahead and guess the letter A. Okay, I see that the letter A appears twice in my word. Let's go ahead and continue. So I'm going to guess the letter G. G was also correct. Let's guess the letter J. J was incorrect, and I see that I have more of my picture drawn. Let's go with the letter H. Okay, H was correct, and you may be able to guess the word, but let's just go ahead and continue. So I'm going to guess the letter N. All right, and from here it's pretty obvious, but I'm just going to finish it off with the letter M. Okay, once I guess the complete word, then it breaks out of the code. It displays the message you guessed it, and it also displays the word that I picked. All right, let's go ahead and dive in and see how we can code this in Python. So there was quite a bit more code that went into making that hangman game than you might expect. And rather than just going through the code from top to bottom, what I would rather do is develop the most essential parts first and then build on to it. So what we're going to do first is, let's go ahead and start by making a list of words. So up here I'm going to make a variable called words. And I'm going to be storing a list inside this variable. So to make a list in Python we're going to be using the square brackets. Just like that. And for now let's just go ahead and put a couple words and then later on we can add more to it. So for now I'm going to choose one of my words is going to be Python. And the other word is going to be program. So what I have is I have a variable. This is storing a list with two items inside of it. The two items, the first one is a string called Python. The second one is a string program. What I'm going to do next is I need to be able to pick a random word from this list. To be able to use random functions, I need to import random. So at the very top here, I'm going to say import random. From random now, I can say random dot choice. Inside the parentheses here, I can put the object that it's going to be choosing from. So I want to choose a random item from the list of words here. So inside the parentheses, I'm going to put words. And then I need to store whatever the choice is inside of a variable. So I'm going to call this variable picked. So what I have so far is I have a list of words and then I'm using the random.choice function to choose a random word from this list here and store it inside the variable picked. Just to test to make sure this is working, I'm going to print picked. And this is a good practice before going on with a bunch of code. Just go ahead and test out small chunks. So I'm just doing a little bit of code and testing out to make sure it's doing what I expect it to do. So let's go ahead and run our program and see if it picks a random word from this list. Okay, good, and I see it picked Python from the list. So we're off to a good start, so let's go ahead and go back to our code. The next thing we wanna do is make two lists. One is going to be a list where we store the correct guesses, and the second list is gonna be a list where we store the incorrect guesses. So to do that, I'm going to call one of them right. This is going to be equal to an empty list for now. And the other one is going to be wrong. And this is also going to be equal to an empty list. The next step, I need to get a letter guess from the user. To do that, let's go ahead and make a variable called guess. This is going to be equal to input the prompt for the user is going to be guess a letter and then here I'm going to 
do another stopping point. So I'm going to check to make sure this code is working. So to do that, I'm going to print guess. And then since we saw the previous one was working, I'm going to get rid of this test line here. So now what I'm going to be testing is I'm going to be trying to get a letter from the user and then printing off that letter. So let's go ahead and run our code. Okay, it says guess a letter. I'm going to guess the letter F. And then great, so it prints the letter F just like I expected it to. Let's go ahead and return back to our code now. I think the next step, we should compare the letter that the user gives us and see if it's in the picked word. So to do that, I'm going to say if guess in picked. So what this is doing is it's taking the letter and it's checking to see if it's in the word that was picked from the random words here. If it is, I'm going to print the message yes. Else, I'm going to print no. Okay, and since we saw that before this was working, I'm going to now get rid of this test line. So now what we're checking for is after we input the guess letter, if the guess is in picked, we should expect a print message of yes. If it's not, then we should see no. So let's go ahead and find a letter that's not in either of those. So I'm going to pick Z. And for Z, I'm going to be testing to make sure it prints out no. And then we'll pick P. And we should expect P to print out the message yes. Let's go ahead and run our program and see if it works the way we expect it to. Okay, so this time around, I'm going to pick the letter Z. And then we should see the message no. Okay, very good. Let's go back and run our program again. This time we're going to pick a letter that is in the word. So we're going to pick the letter P. And great, so we see the message yes. So we know that our code so far is working. So this code right here is going to be code that's going to be repeating throughout the whole game. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to set up a loop that's going to repeat these lines of code until the word is completely guessed. So actually, instead of these two lines, it's going to be all three of these lines here. So right below here and right above the guess, I'm going to say while true. And then I need to highlight these three lines of code, actually one, two, three, four, five lines of code and press tab. So what this is going to do, it's going to ask for a letter. It's going to check to see if it's in the picked word. And then it's going to go back up to guess and ask for a different letter. Let's go ahead and stop here and test our code and make sure it's working. So I'm going to run my code. Okay, it's asking me for a letter, so let's pick the letter Z. It says no, and then right away it asks me for another letter. We'll choose P, and it says yes. Okay, so we got the main loop started. Let's go ahead and return back to our code now. So the next thing we're going to add to our code, instead of printing yes or no, if the guess letter is actually in picked, then let's add it to the list called right. If it's not in picked, let's add it to the list called wrong. To do that, we're going to say write dot append. So this is how you can add a letter to a list. And then the letter we want to add is guess. And then if it's not in picked, we're going to say wrong dot append. And then the letter we want to add to it is guess. Okay. And what we're going to do after each one is we're going to print right. And then below this one, we're going to print wrong. Let's go ahead and test our code. Okay, it's asking me to guess a letter, so let's guess Z. Okay, so Z is not in picked, so it adds it to the wrong list and prints it out. Let's guess a letter that is in the word, so P. So it adds it to the right list and then prints it out. So let's go ahead and head back to our code. And just to make it a little bit easier to see which letters are in which list, inside this print statement here, let's go ahead and add a string like that. 
And then for this one, a similar thing, but for wrong. Okay. So this will print the word right in front of my right list and then wrong in front of my wrong list. Let's go ahead and run it. Oops. So here we need to put a comma and a comma here. Okay, I guess a letter. So we'll just use the same letters we used before. So the letter Z. So wrong. And then it gives me the list. And then P. It says right. And then the list. If I keep guessing letters, so let's guess Y. Okay, so it keeps adding to the list. So let's do T. O. And N. Okay, so we see that as long as we keep getting right letters, it'll add it to the right list. Let's guess a few more wrong letters. So let's guess the letter D and R. And one more, let's do Q. Okay, so, so far what we have for our code is working. Let's go ahead and head back and add one more feature to it. The last thing we're going to add before we stop for this video is after each guess, just to separate out the guesses to make it a little bit easier to see the different sections, we're going to print and then let's go ahead and just print a bunch of equal signs. You can put as many as you want to. And this time, every time the code, the loop here runs through, it'll print out this string of equal signs and it'll just separate each guess so it's easier to see each section. So let's go ahead and run this and see what it looks like. Oops, let me go ahead and go back. So I'm going to kill this first just to clear it out. So run it one more time. Okay, so I have this breaking point right here. If I guess a letter like the letter G, then it prints out a new one. So it kind of separates out the different guesses. So it's a little bit easier to see. So that's all we're going to do for now. Stay tuned for the next one where we continue our hangman game.